Great, thank you so much for having me today. My name is Kai Narita. I'm the founder and CEO of the 3D Architect. So I'm affiliated with the um, MIT as a visiting scientist. So we are a manufacturing technology startup located in Boston here and also Sendai City in Japan. The problems we are tackling is about how we can enable sustainable society. And in this topic, we see the two challenges we are, face we are working on right now. The first one is uh, the data center cooling power consumption. So as you have seen all of the discussion today, you know, data center um, has a lot of like, demand right today. And it could consume 30% of the world electricity by 2030. And within this 13% of the electricity consumption, actually 40% comes from the data center cooling. So the heat or heat dissipation is a huge and urgent problem today in the data center. And another problem we are looking at is that green hydrogen production. In order to achieve that net zero emission by 2050, we need to adapt the 200 million ton of hydrogen by 2030. However, the hurdle here is that the cost of the hydrogen production. We need to reduce the hydrogen cost by the factor of the five by 2030. And it looks like two different problems here, but as a manufacturing startup, we see the underlying common issue here. That the inefficient fluid flow, which comes from actually the manufacturing um, inability to optimize the design at micrometer scale. So one of the good examples is a heat sink used for the data center cooling, and that has a typically the fin structure which has a 0.1 millimeter fin and if you, we know that already, if we can decrease the fin thickness or interval between fins, we can increase surface area so that we can improve the cooling performance. Or if we can make a more organic structure, optimal structure, so that we can make a, a more improved um, cooling performance. However, we don't have a way to manufacture such a design. So the state of the art manufacturing can only offer 0.2, one millimeter scale of the design control today. And it's same for the green hydrogen production. The water electrolyzer is using right now the randomly oriented gas diffusion layer. And if you can optimize that structure, we can also improve the um, energy production um, cost as well, uh, decrease energy production cost as well. So to tackle this challenge, what we do here is that we invented a completely new way of making metals, which is a lithography based metal 3D printing. And this can offer 10 micrometer features with a desired structure so that we can offer ultimate performance at scale. So what we do here is that we use off-the-shelf lithography-based 3D printer or any lithography-based device that could be used for the semiconductor manufacturing, but we use that machine for making metals. So we have the proprietary gel materials, which can be you know, manufactured by that type of off-the-shelf 3D printer, and we make a 3D structural gel. And you have the conversion technology that can convert from gel to metal completely. So that by using this off-the-shelf lithography-based 3D printer, which is typically used for making a resin or plastic, we can create high-performing metal and alloy parts. And we are working with a globally or much more company in these two uh, industry spaces. And one of the use cases is that heat sink or liquid cooling heat sink. We are working with a Japan heat sink manufacturer here today. So compared to the traditionally manufactured heat sink, we can offer 10 micrometer features with the optimized structure so that we can offer almost 60% cut of electricity cost for the cooling. And also we can offer, you know, by the nature of the 3D printing technology, the customization at low cost and at the scale as well. Another example here is that the gas diffusion layer for the water electricity system. So as you see from the next pictures, people use this randomly oriented structure for the gas diffusion layer. And you have to know that for the decades, if we can control you know, this structure, we can improve the, improve the performance. But today, we only can offer this design, you know, basically by design CAD so that we can manufacture the same structure in the reality here. And people select us for a couple of reasons. The one of the reasons is that we can improve the out, um, output of the green hydrogen production by 30% with the same cost. And also we can lower the cost of material as, as well by design. And also one of the interesting aspects is that now today we can offer the very design structure so that you can tell what parameter you want to tune to improve the performance of the electrical system. For example, porosity, pore diameter, or any other parameters in the design space. So today we are seeking the, some partnership for the green hydrogen production, water electrolyzer, and the liquid cooling. The example is the liquid cooling uh, heat sink or cold plate mix for the vapor chambers and immersion cooling system. And also we, think we are seeking collaboration on the water electrolyzer system and also fuel cell as well. And we are transitioning to the mass production scale right now. So we are seeking also a chemical company that can produce the, our gel material at the scale as well. So we are 3D architect. If you are interested, please come by my booth. We have some products that has a very fine featured product. 
Thank you so much. Thank you, Kai.